Hey guys, welcome to QA Automated. In this video, we are going to learn about how to make your APM test cases wait for particular time specified by you. So normally we have seen people use thread.sleep and give milliseconds to specify their time. But this is a wrong method. This is not the right way to make it wait. The right methods are implicit wait and explicit wait. Let us see about implicit wait. So implicit wait is a, a way of informing Appium web driver to wait for a specific amount of time and if the element is not displayed then it will throw an exception no such element found. So if you have a test cases uh, performing a submit option uh, on a form and the next screen comes up after 5 seconds and then here you can specify the time 5 seconds. So let us see the example uh, here uh, we are passing uh, two parameters for implicit wait function where first one is a time period and second one is a time unit. So here it will wait for 30 seconds. So suppose the after clicking on submit button your next screen is not appeared even after the specified time then in that case it will throw an exception no such element found. Similarly, you can use days, hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds, etc. as per your convenience. Now let's learn about explicit wait. In explicit wait along with the wait time, we can also provide the wait condition. It will wait till the condition or the maximum wait time provided before throwing that element not visible exception. This means that we can specify a time like wait for 20 seconds like shown in this example. And we can also provide a condition. So let's check this example. There we have given a condition. Check that element uh, with ID about me is visible or not. So what it will do is it will wait for 20 seconds. But if within 5 seconds, 4 seconds about me is displayed, then it will stop its wait. But if uh, even after 20 seconds, the condition is not met, that means about me is not displayed then it will give an exception element not visible exception. Isn't it very simple to use implicit and explicit weight then why use thread.sleep. So uh, let's do an example and use this implicit and explicit weight in your test cases and if you face any issues any questions then write in the comment section below. Thanks for watching like comment and subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.